out of YouTube. This is Dawn with Double D Homestead, and today I want to show you how I make my apple fritters. They're not hard, uh, they're pretty easy, and they're very, very yummy. <laughs> so, before I get started, I've got a pan back here that I'm going to turn on. It's got oil in it because we're going to fry these and let my oil be getting hot while I'm mixing these up so we don't have to stop and wait for the oil to start. <laughs> so I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to put that on about a medium. And then I've got two cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, and I have a teaspoon cinnamon plus a half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon, excuse me, of pumpkin pie spice. You don't have to put the pumpkin pie spice in. I just like all those spices mixed together. So I'm going to put it in. <laughs> and then I've got a half a teaspoon of salt. And I have two Granny Smith apples. Use your favorite apple, whatever that is and a half a cup of milk, and I've got some cornstarch. So what we're gonna do with the cornstarch, I'm gonna use probably half a cup. Ah, I'm throwing it all over the floor. Oh my goodness. So, I'll be sweeping. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna mix this on here, and what this does, it helps the batter stick to the um, apples better. Excuse me, allergy season, and they, I feel like I have allergies today bad, and uh, it just helps the dough to stick to the apples so the apples don't fall out of your fritters or into your grease and sit in the bottom of the grease and burn. <laughs> don't want that. So I, there, we're just like that, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my dry ingredients in here and give them a mix. Throw them all over myself. Oh, goodness gracious. I just can't cook without messing myself up. <laughs> Even got my big bowl out. <laughs> so I'm going to mix this up good. Just like so. Now I'm going to pour my milk in here. Oh, and for the frosting, all you're going to need are the glaze is uh, powdered sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and like a tablespoon or two of milk. Depends on the consistency. And I am going to get the milk and add a little more milk. This is a little bit too stiff. All righty. I'm back. Good old Gosner milk. I ran out of milk today. <laughs> I didn't run out of milk. What was in the refrigerator went not good <laughs> so i'm just gonna put about a quarter cup in here for now you want this like a thick uh, pancake batter or super thick pancake batter that's kind of what you're shooting for and one other thing i just remembered i need some bacon powder all right so i'm also going to put a teaspoon of bacon powder forgive me for that throw that in there i oh, wasn't quite a teaspoon and uh, put that in there and give this a good mix. And we might have to add just a little bit more milk. I'm not sure yet though. Let me keep mixing. <laughs> Can't put this up here. Uh, no, I think this is good and I'm gonna leave it. See, it's like a thick, sticky pancake dough. So, that mixed up. I'm just gonna throw my apples in here like that and give them a good mix in. All right, I'll be back and meet you over at the stove. All right, you see how this is bubbling when I put this little test piece in there? So it's ready to go. So I'm gonna dunk my spoon in here so it doesn't stick. Now all I'm gonna do is take a good sized scoop and drop in the hot grease and spread it out a little bit if I can. Just like that. See how it's frying? And we're gonna just cook these up until they're golden, golden brown on each side. Ooh, just like that. Be careful. <laughs> I don't want you to burn yourself. I'll do that enough for both of us. <laughs> And you can also cheat on this batter. 
You can just go ahead and use pancake mix and spice it up if you want to. That is an option. So I'm not gonna crowd my pan too much. And I'm gonna let these fry and I'll be back in a couple minutes when they're brown. All right, I'm getting ready to turn these now. And I just let them get golden brown like that. See how nice and brown. I'm going to leave the video or the recipe in the description box of the video for you so you can write it down if you want it. And thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you everybody that comes back every day. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see and you want to stick around, subscribe. All right, I'm getting ready to pull my first batch out. And they are nice and crispy and brown. See? Mmm. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them fried up, and I'll meet you back over there to make some icing. Alrighty, here they are. They are done, and they are still warm. So while they're still warm, I'm going to mix the glaze up real quick and glaze them. I got a cup of powdered sugar in here, and I'm just going to add one at a time tablespoons of milk. I may use one, I may use two, I don't know. <laughs> Depends on how thin it gets. But first I'm going to put a teaspoon of vanilla in. I like vanilla <laughs> and I'm going to add a tablespoon of milk and see how that goes because the humidity affects this I just can't help myself I guess but humidity affects this and uh, make it runnier faster Give it a good mix like so. Yep, that's right about where I want it. I'm making like a donut glaze. Now with these, you can cover them with cinnamon sugar. You can cover them uh, with glaze. You can do the stripes with the glaze, you know, if you want. And you can top them however you want or leave them naked. Naked work. <laughs> so while they're warm, hot or cool enough to handle, but while they're still good and warm, because I want these to glaze up like a donut. I'm just going to dunk them in here like this. Flip them over. And let all that yummy goodness run all over it. Just like this. Super easy. Nothing hard about it. And oh. Ooh. Got a little hot spot. <laughs> Adds a little extra sweetness on it. And I'm going to get these done. And we'll all give it right. a look. They're all nice and glazed. And look at this. Mmm. So I ran out of glaze, not shocking for me. <laughs> so I did make more glaze because I like a little heavier glaze. You know, it's good stuff. <laughs> so let's try one, shall we? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice and crispy on the outside. And here is you a close up to see. Oh. Mmm. Very good. Well, I hope y'all like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless y'all and take care.